Hi guys, welcome back to our lecture series on PCB designing using Eagle. In the previous lecture, we have understood the need of uh, PCB designing. In this particular lecture, we'll be looking, we'll be understanding the idea better and also, and then we'll get started with learning the tools present with Eagle, the Eagle software. So let's begin. To understand the idea better, let us first understand why do we actually need PCB boards? So the answer to this particular question is you have to test the circuit before developing it, right? So any project or any idea that you come up with ha will have some circuit in the background. It has to be built up on, on a circuit. So you have to first test this particular circuit and see if it's going to actually work or not. So now there are two ways of testing it. One is physical testing and the second one is simulation based testing. The first choice for every designer will be a simulation based testing. So if you are making a circuit for say flasher which we'll be looking at uh, which we'll be looking at later in the course. So let's say you're making a triple phi based circuit. So the designer will first simulate this particular circuit obviously softwares are available to simulate circuits but these results may or may not be convincing may not always be convincing simulation softwares may sometimes they take the true behavior of may take the ideal behavior of components into into consideration but it is not always so that but physically it is not always that the components will behave ideally under a certain test conditions be it physical or simulation or simulation based the circuit may or may not behave in the same way it is very much possible that physically the circuit behavior may be different in varying degrees from that of simulation so when you are coming up with a so when you're coming up with a good product you have to be as a designer you have to be very sure that your physic that your circuit is going to be very stable that your circuit operation is going to be very stable physically and hence you need something to test your circuit physically now like we've discussed in the last lecture you have either the breadboard method or you also have something called as zero PCBs. Now zero PCBs are very similar to breadboards. Only thing is that they are cardboard, uh, they, are, they are cardboard thickness circuit boards with a grid arrangement of solder pads already made on the board. So you see something like this. We'll look at type of PCBs in the later lectures. So these will be solder pads. So if you want to connect, if you want to place a component between these two pads, you only have to solder it here and here. We'll look at those later. But we have also then discussed the physical limitations of breadboard. Now what similar physical limitations are also seen when using zero PCBs and then the only logical solution to test your circuits physically is going through PCBs or the printed circuit board method. These are nothing but printed. Circuit board. Now the advantage over here is the goal over here is to create a compact circuit as discussed. Now you can design create multiple boards make various uh, make various changes to your design as and when required then you can test the you can test the version if it doesn't work as you want you can make some more changes get another set manufactured and then so and so forth with the designing so this is it with the idea of why do we need circuit boards is nothing but you have it the requirement is only that you have to test your circuit physically you just cannot make a product on simulation based testing physical testing is equally important 
Now let's move ahead with getting started with the tool or the software. Go ahead, launch your browser and type Eagle Download. The very first link takes you to CatSoft USA. CatSoft is the developer is a developer company who has developed the designing tool called Eagle. It takes you directly to the downloads page of their website. On this page you can go ahead and download your system specific zip file or you can directly download the Eagle freeware here. So once you've downloaded your Win executable file, Windows executable file and you launch it for and you launch it to install the complete software it will then ask you whether you want to run it as a freeware you want to a license using a license key or you want to obtain a license go ahead and run it as freeware which is same over here so this freeware version will have few limitations which is going to be a limitation on board size certain restrictions on board side and number of sheets you can use otherwise it's otherwise it's fine so for student projects you can comfortably use Eagle uh, freeware version or the light version now once you have installed Eagle on your machine then you can go ahead and launch the software so this is how the control panel window of your Eagle software looks here it will indicate your version. You can preferably download a 7.1 since 7.3 or 7.5 will still be in beta but that's okay only the icons have changed. Tool icons have changed otherwise the interface is same. Now on your explorer or on your left hand side you will see an explorer you can just expand your projects folder you will see a folder named Eagle now what all projects you are going to create should be in this particular folder only so if I expand this folder in my case I have so many projects already present once you go on starting once you go on creating projects they'll keep on adding in this particular folder obviously you have to specify that I want to add a project to this folder so now to create a new project with Eagle you have to right click on this Eagle folder under projects on the control panel and say I want to create a new project give a sensible name you can say my f my first so this green bubble okay so this green bubble right next to your name or your project name will indicate that it's an active project or the project is open if the project is closed it will be indicated by a gray bubble you can right click on the project and click on open project to set it as an active project now to begin with your project you right click on your project folder and then on the pop-up menu go to the new tab and say schematic let's look at that again on your project folder right click new schematic it takes you to a schematic work space like this so this huge white window is your schematic editor you will be drawing your schematic here you can browse through your sheets if it's a multiple if it's a big design you or you want to split your design into multiple sheets you can check it out over here On the leftmost, in the left corner is your toolbar. This is your menu bar, and here you have another set of tools. This is the grid option you can select. Just maybe turn on grid you can specify your size you do you want it in dots or lines let's keep it in lines let's keep the defaults and click OK so this is the grid view don't want it you have to turn it off let's work with you have to keep grid off or however you feel comfortable ok 
okay now let's start exploring the menu options one by one under edit you have the standard undo redo stop command is just an escape button all the shortcuts that are available as tools on your toolbar are listed out here under the edit menu then let's go and look at draw again draw the functions available under the draw menu are also listed on your toolbar then view is we've already seen the grid settings layer settings will look at it with time tools we look at ERC, ERC and error check when we develop a socket now library this is important so when you open a project if you have certain previous work done on Eagle software you might have all libraries already linked with your projects in case if you don't have it we'll see how to use our libraries then there is options nothing much to discuss here window you have to be sure that control panel schematic and later when we go ahead with the board design all three windows should be open in sync if even one is closed down or even if one is by by error shut you you just or even if you by error manage to close down a window make sure the three are open only that will allow you to work with your project in sync otherwise your files your schematic and the board files will be out of sync 